Good morning, Balls and Bulldogs. My name is Jayla. And I'm Anthony. We'd like to thank all the students that participated in Read Across America. And we want to thank all the families that came to the Father Daughter Dance. Stay tuned for a short video. Our next fun assignment will be on March 31st. In order to participate, your attendance needs, your attendance needs to improve. If you improve, you'll be able to attend it. We have just started LPAC testing. We hope everyone tries their best. You got this. We want to thank all the families that came to parent conference. We'd like to remind you to keep doing your best. We only have nine weeks left of school. We are thrilled to announce that Baldwin Academy will be hosting an art show to showcase the, creative, the creativity and the artistic talents of our students. We are inviting all Baldwin Academy students to participate by submitting their artwork. We encourage creativity and originality. The last day to submit work is March 28th. Here's Rebecca with the quote of the week. Take it away. The quote of the week is by Walter Eloit. Perfect experience is not a long race. It's many short races, one after the other. That's the end for the quote of the week. Here's that Mario with the joke of the week. Take, Take it, it away. Hey, Mr. Pena, want to hear a joke? Yes, I do. Why are frogs always so happy? I don't know why. Because they eat everything that bugs them. Here's Lauren with the college of the week. Take, Take it away. The College of the Week is the University of Michigan. The mascot of this college is the Wolverine. The school was founded on August 26, 1817. The most popular majors of this university are Computer and Information Sciences, General, Business, Administration and Management, Economics, and General. This school is also known as a Wolverine State. It has a population of around 51,200 25 students. The school sports include baseball, women's basketball, football, ice hockey, softball, volleyball, and men's basketball. One more fact about the school is that 92% of the students graduate within six years. That's it for the College of the Week. Here's Elijah with the day in history. Take, Take it, it away. away. On March 10th, 1876, Alexander Graham Bell conducted a special successful experiment with the telephone. Thanks to his discovery, now we can use telephones. Th thank you for listening to the History of the Day. Here's Emma with the Fun Fact of the Week. Take, Take it, it away. away. I'm Emma and I'm here with the Fun Fact of the Week. Did you know that men are more likely to get struck by lightning than women are? Hope you like the Fun Fact of the Week. Viviana and Caesar interviewing staff. Take, Take it away. Hello, my name is Caesar and today I'm here with Mrs. Salinas. So, Mrs. Salinas, what was something that was difficult but you accomplished it? Um, probably one of the most difficult things I've ever done is um, in 2020, we all had to go home and teach our students on the computer. And that was really challenging. We didn't know how to do it, but I persevered. I kept trying to figure it out and we actually had a great time on Zoom with my fourth graders. Wow, that was amazing. Thank you. Hello, and Bulldogs. My name is Viviana and I'm here with... Mr. Bresenio. Mr. Bresenio, what is something that was difficult but you ended up accomplishing it? Um, I remember when I first started driving, it was really difficult. And I even scratched my car a few times, but I just had to keep practicing. And eventually, I was able to get my license and now I'm a pretty good driver. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm Borax. My name is Viviana and I'm here with... Mrs. Williams. Mrs. Williams, what is something that was difficult but you accomplished it? Um, when I was little, I actually, I was born in Korea and I came to the States uh, when I was in elementary school. So, oh, actually, uh, after elementary school. So it was difficult to learn the language. I didn't know how to speak uh, English and I, it was really hard, but look, I'm actually a teacher now, <laughs> teaching English and how to read and all that. So yeah, that was difficult, but I accomplished it. Good job. Thank you. And very interviewing students. Take, Take it away. away. Hi, my name is Andrea, and today I'm interviewing Delilah. Okay, so what is something that was hard but you never gave up on? M math. Okay, good answer. Hi, my name is Andrea, and today I'm here with Valentina. Okay, what is something that was hard but you never gave up on? Um, telling the clock. Okay, good answer. Hi, my name is Andrea, and today I'm interviewing Adriana. Okay, what is something that was hard but you never gave up on? Uh, on math. Good answer.
Hi, I'm Eileen. I'm here with forecast weather for next week. On Monday, it's going to be cloudy with the percentage of rain. 50 in the lowest and 64 in the highest. On Tuesday, there's going to be 50% of rain with cloudy and 52 in the lowest and 65 in the highest. On Wednesday, it's going to be 30% of rain with cloudy, 51 in the lowest and 59 in the highest. On Thursday, it's going to be cloudy with a bit of sun, 48 in the lowest and 64 in the highest. On Friday, it's going to be sunny with 46 in the lowest and 70 in the highest. That's all for the forecast weather for next week. This book of the week is Diary of a Pug. Ready for a fun new easy chapter book series? If you're into funny stories about dogs, pick up a book from the Diary of a Pug series. Bub might be an anxious and his snobby dog, but when it comes to his human best friend, he is super helpful. But his helpfulness tends to lead to crazy hijinks and disasters. This series can be found in the easy chapter book section, and that is all for the book of the week.